was a short-lived but beloved tourist attraction now hidden in the hills of East Tennessee. Leslie Ackerson shows us how a train excursion became a rusted locomotive in tonight's abandoned spaces. Just beyond the edge of an old Anderson County coal prep station. So we're in a place properly kind of known as Devonia now. Tucked away in the trees is a historical treasure standing next to the New River Scenic Railway train, what's left of it. Behind the moss and rust, there was once a beautiful vintage diesel engine and two passenger cars. The local owners have lived here all their lives. They tried to start up a little tourist business at one point in time. Several different things happened. It didn't quite pan out. At first, the idea for the New River Scenic Railway took off. It was pretty popular. Uh, it grew pretty rapidly. When they first started up, there were little brochures everywhere. They handed things out, you know. Passengers winded along a scenic 62-mile trip deep into East Tennessee. The scenery is beautiful, too. You go through so much different scenery on your way here from any direction you come. The, the railroad from Oneida, you start out, you know, in a, in a little community, in a city, kind of and you go out through some like farmland, some country, and the next thing you know, you're up here, you know, hanging off the side of a cliff with a river 60 feet below you. Train enthusiast John David Azell never got the chance to catch a ride, but he has helped advocate since its abandonment. So it was a pretty popular trip. Uh, it didn't last very long, but everybody wanted to come do it. The short-lived stint lasted from 2008 to 2010. Things began to derail when the line changed hands and disputes about rights to use the track brought the excursion to a screeching halt. For a time, Azell and others kept it intact. Uh, one of the biggest reasons that it's in the state that it's in is it's just been too hard to keep up with. Every time something would get fixed or cleaned, something else would get broken and it just ramped up to the point where it was hard to keep up. But sitting idle for the last 11 years was an open invitation to Mother Nature and thieves. It's impressive how much the vandalism has really picked up in the last year and a half. All kinds of uh, interesting graffiti. When they restored this car, all this upholstery and everything was brand new. The windows being out has really caused these cars to deteriorate a whole lot quicker. Uh, they weren't in great shape to begin with. While the locomotive has lost its luster, it's not hard to imagine the magic that passengers felt aboard. At one point in time where the wood is on the floor, there used to be a uh, counter in here where you could get, your, get you a sandwich, some souvenirs, and that kind of thing. Supporters have pushed for a new life for the historical train. Uh, what would really make me happy would be in the next 10 years if somebody would just come back and, and have some interest in the line, whether it be for freight or car storage. Tourism would be a long shot at, at this point, but anything at all, really, just to have it operating. But a one-way ticket out of here would come with a high price. Not only is it overgrown, in a couple places the track's dangling over the river, so getting anything out of here or in here by rail would be a real challenge. It's, it's a long shot, but there are possibilities. I mean, stranger things have happened. For now, he says visit with respect, hoping one day the vision might once again get back on the right track. It'd be nice to see anything happen with it, really whether it be a restoration, static display. So even if the owners don't move it, you know, maybe we could fix it back up a little bit, make it a little nicer for people to come see. Maybe it would lose the uh, nickname as the abandoned train. In Anderson County, Leslie Ackerson. Online right now, you can read our full series on East Tennessee's abandoned places. That's at WBIR.com. You can also catch the full playlist on the WBIR YouTube page.